Every minute in Somalia, a child is born. But every hour, eight Somali children under the age of five die. Every two hours, a Somali mother dies due to pregnancy complications. More mothers die in this country each year due to childbirth complications than all of those deaths caused by conflict. The Joint Health and Nutrition Program is our biggest development program and it seeks to tackle these statistics face on and save the lives of thousands of Somali women and children. A good healthcare system delivers quality services to all people when and where they need them, regardless of their income or situation. In the case of Somalia, there is a lot of work to do to rebuild a healthcare system in which all Somalis can benefit. This is going to be the bacteriology laboratory. Uh... This means producing a health workforce able to provide essential health services of good quality ensuring there is reliable information on which to base decisions and policies, refurbishing old facilities, and putting in place logistics to deliver medicines and technologies. At the bedrock of every health system is the leadership of the government, ensuring that health authorities are in the driving seats of leading and coordinating the health sector. Everybody was coming with its own plan, its own policy. Somebody might come from another country and say that this program has worked very effectively in country X. So they, everybody was trying his own. But this time around, the Joint Health and Nutrition Program supported us uh, the rollout of essential package of health services, which is a framework which is integrating, harmonizing, and standardizing the country's health service profession. So the JHMP supports the implementation of the health sector strategic plan. So the plan, this plan has been a kind of a national document which gives a guidance and direction to everybody who will come now and will say that, yes, we're going to support you. You know, this program, JHNP, is the only program that helped us um, participate in developing, you know, all these systems. And it, it creates for us, as the ministry, an opportunity to take the ownership of some of the programs. The Joint Health and Nutrition Program is strengthening Somalia's health system. The program has already supported the government in finalizing a health policy as well as a number of strategies and plans to improve access to health care across Somalia. For example, standard treatment guidelines for patients will ensure that health professionals provide standardized quality care. An essential drugs list ensures that government clinics and facilities have the right medicines for the people's needs. At the same time, the program is also strengthening the health system from the ground up. We take samples, process it, package it, actually triple package it, send it with a courier into Kenya and in Nairobi they identify the sample. That's very costly, okay, that's very costly. It takes, uh, you know, the sample is, uh, will be, uh, maybe, maybe there are a lot of delays. So when you have this laboratory here in the country, if you get sample this morning and identify it today, uh, we can save a lot of lives, a lot of lives within very short time. This is a medical student who has a training in this hospital also. This is a teaching hospital. We do it for the new doctors and also for midwifers and nurses. The Joint Health and Nutrition Program is training over 500 midwives across Somalia as well as doctors, anesthetists, community health workers and nurses. But there is also a need to ensure that doctors, nurses and other clinical staff currently practicing in Somalia have the necessary qualifications to provide a quality continuum of care. We are saying, you know what, you need a professional, whether it's a midwife, a doctor, a lab technician, um, a dentist, you need healthcare professionals that are regulated. Here at Benadir Hospital in Mogadishu, surgeons work hard to save the lives of women who have complications with their births. 
in order for life-saving surgery to take place, there must be a sufficient amount of well-screened blood available in the public blood bank. Sometimes it's very uh, rewarding if you could you say if a mother couldn't deliver at home and you did a C-section and you could see her baby alive and it's very rewarding. By 2016, the Joint Health and Nutrition Program will ensure that 5.5 million people have access to the essential package of health services and that thousands of women have access to emergency obstetric care services like those available at Benadir Hospital.